Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is video time for me. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com and I'm coming to you live on Facebook. It's about two o'clock on Tuesday and I think it is August 24th. Um, I'm on staycation this week so I haven't really checked the date but I'm pretty sure it's the 24th. So hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. It's beautiful here in Chesapeake, Virginia. A little bit hot, like 90-ish. And it's a good day to stay inside and stamp. And I've got lots of stamping classes coming up starting tomorrow. So I wanted to get this video done so I can go ahead and finish getting ready for that. And I came up with this card this morning. I wanted to do another wow card because this is the card that I did the other day with the baby wipe technique. And it was a humongous hit. So I think it's got almost 5,000 views already just in a couple days. Well, actually, it's been more like a week, but... Um, it was very popular so I came up with this card today which I think is almost just as beautiful using the same colors and another technique which you might not have seen and it is called masking tape I don't know if it really has a name but I used ma not masking tape packing tape and um, you know that clear packing tape you you know type um, you box up your stuff when you're moving that stuff so um, I don't know if you can see it right here, but these are really shiny because I put the masking, why do I keep saying masking tape? The packing tape on here and then ran it through the die cutting machine. And then it, so it makes it come out like they're all um, covered in uh, like crystal effects kind of or something shiny. So I thought it was really cool. Um, my upline, Melissa, did this on a card, not with the leaves, but with words. And I think somebody else did it with words, but I've never seen it done with um, anything else. So I thought I would try it just to see if it worked, and it did. And now I'm going to try it on everything. So I might do the butterflies and some flowers and some other things with it because it came out so cool. So if you haven't seen this video, this was about a week ago. So go back and look at that one on my YouTube channel. Let me get my computer going and see if anybody's watching live. I see there are a bunch of people, like 10 people. So if you're watching, make sure you leave a comment. Hey, Michelle, let me know you're watching. And say hello. Oh my gosh, hey Pam, hey Sharon, hey Angel. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Um, so that was that card, let me put that away real quick. And in case you just popped on, this is the card we're making today. Hopefully you can see that shimmer. Well, it's not really shimmer. It's more like uh, shininess. So here is a leaf that is done with the masking. I mean, why do I keep saying masking tape? Oh my gosh, packing tape. And this is one without. So hopefully you can see the difference. So this one is just flat and this one is the shiny. So it's kind of like flat paint and um satin enamel you know the kind of difference but hopefully you can see it in my camera but it's really really cool so if you haven't tried it yet um you can do this with words and it's really cool with the words because it'll make them look really shiny all right so let me show you a few things real quick before we do the video this is the stamp set you'll need the gorgeous leaves and the matching dies and these are just some some leaves that i popped out the other day when i was doing the baby wipe technique so we're using that, and that is from the um, Holiday Mini on page 47. So we're using this stamp set with the matching dies, and it comes with just the flat cutout um, dies and the intricate ones. So it'll do just the outline or the inside. So you can do both. And the paper is actually from the big catalog. So this one is called Beauty of the Earth. And I showed this um, the other day, all the pieces in there. Um, real quick, this is the one we're using. And we're also using this green one. So I put half of each and that's what's on the back. Um, somebody commented the other day that they think I should have used this one for the baby wipe technique because the, uh, th this side, I mean, because that was prettier. But I guess everybody has their own opinion. If you don't like it, then um, you can make it yourself at home and use whatever paper you want to. But um, hopefully you like the way that I do it, and if not, just uh, don't say anything. <laughs> so, hey, Diane. Hey, Michelle. Beautiful paper. You're making me want this. You don't have it yet? Oh my gosh, you have to get this paper. All right, so there's other ones in here, like the video I did a couple days ago with this one. 
this was an absolutely gorgeous card and that's this one so if you haven't seen that one go back and check it out um, that's using this paper and I actually sponged it with the blending brush with the blue to make it darker so those are some of the sheets in there it's absolutely beautiful paper and it's in the big book also we're using the cork which I just got not too long ago but I hadn't used it yet and the cork paper is really cool you've got it's really thin it's not like real cork but it does have that texture of the cork on it so it's really soft and I think it's almost like a piece of shaved cork or something because it does feel like cork on the front but it's actual paper so um, you only get a couple sheets in here I think yep two sheets and I think it's maybe like I don't know five dollars or something for two sheets so you want to use it sparingly so um, I just cut a little piece for my card today but it's really pretty don't forget it's celebration time so if you order um, from me or anyone else if you have a demonstrator already um, you can order from them um, but if you don't have a demonstrator I would love for you to order from me um, this is my website right here stampingwithlisa.com this is the host code for right now I think I'm going to change that in a couple days because I've already got a bunch of orders so I might close that one out and start a new one um, if your order is over 150 do not use the host code so you can get the hostess benefits but for every $50 you place an order for you get to pick something out of here for free and right now this bedazzling paper is one of the hot items so make sure you get that that's only while supplies last and it's absolutely gorgeous and then we've got the penguin playmates paper the um, feels like home stamp set which is really pretty I haven't used that yet beautifully penned paper the Christmas paper with the deer which is really pretty um, the sheep set and the sheep dies the textures and frames summer shadows dies which goes with the stamp set in the, in the big catalog that's with the hundred dollar order and then my favorite favorite is delicate dahlias that's also with the hundred dollar purchase you get that for free so if you have not gotten that you better get it soon because that is my favorite favorite thing and see how these words are right here this happy that would be a perfect thing to use the technique we're doing today with the um, packing tape so those kind of words are where I originally saw this idea so I've also got a couple winners this one of the card that I just showed you the baby wipe that's um, Katrina D'Amato Perry you won that card so send me your um, address and I'll send it to you and Stephanie Grotto Briggs you won this one the other day but I haven't heard from you yet so make sure you send me your address so congratulations to you guys and also I got happy mail which always makes me so happy this um, card I got in the mail from Melinda Russell so Melinda thank you so much for sending me this card it's absolutely beautiful and I also got a special treat this is the first ever gift I've gotten from somebody who watches and it was a chick-fil-a you guys know how I love chick-fil-a chick-fil-a gift card so I could go get a frosty lemonade or a peach milkshake or something similar so Melinda thank you so much for sending me that card I love it love it love it and here we go so this is what you need for the project first you need a scrap of vanilla and then you need a piece of cinnamon cider eight and a half by five and a half and I folded it in half a piece of um, the designer paper beauty of the earth two by five and a quarter another piece also same size same paper just a different piece Mary Merlot four and a quarter by two and three quarters the cork piece which is it is really thin um, I was surprised because I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker but I'm glad it's not because it's easy to use and you can cut it out really easily so that's two and a half by four and then this little sliver here which is one half by five and a quarter so just take a screenshot of that that's all you need and also some linen thread I forgot about that all right everybody ready let me see your cards are beautiful and I showcase them a lot oh thank you angel I loved your paper choices on your cards thank you oh Diane you love the card thank you thank you thank you <laughs> Michelle says she sent that because she couldn't send your favorite ice cream that's true that Tillamook ice cream I think would melt in the mail especially if it came all the way from Oregon um, but to those of you that live near Tillamook tell them Lisa Freeman loves that ice cream and it is the bomb 
but I'm starting my diet again soon, so I'm not going to be able to. I've got like half a thing in the refrigerator, and once that's gone, I'm not buying it for a little while because I need to lose some weight because I went to the doctor yesterday, and I had gained about mm, eight pounds. So that's not good. So I've got to stop eating so much ice cream. So we're going to cut back on it a little bit. All right, so all we need is our um, piece of vanilla. So let me get some scrap paper. Hold on one second. Whoops. I'm going to put this underneath. All right, so you need ink pads. And I used um, Pumpkin Pie, Mary Merlot, Mossy Meadow, and Cajun Craze for my four colors. And then I've got the blending brushes. I'm sharing one with the pumpkin and the Cajun Craze. So I'm going to start with pumpkin and just color. So just dab it on here. It does not matter if you get the blobs on this because you're not cutting out a solid image. You're only cutting the outline, so it's really not going to show up. So just sponge on here with your pumpkin. Usually I always dab off first, but since we're getting an outline image like this, it's not going to really show if you have blobs on there. So you don't want to waste any of your ink. And you don't have to do the whole piece. We're only cutting out two of these. So, I mean, literally, I really just probably need this much. But I like to have leftovers because I've been playing all morning. This was my piece that I practiced on. So, um, and you can see the mask, the, the packing tape. <laughs> One of these days, I'll say it right. <laughs> packing, packing. I need to write it in front of me so I keep, don't keep saying masking tape. All right. So just get some orange from the pumpkin on here. Then we're done with that. And then we're going to go to Cajun Craze. I'm going to use the same blending brush because they're really not too different. Just a little bit darker. And just keep going. I should have done a smaller piece for you guys, but I just grabbed this off the table. And then I'll have tons more to pop out for other cards. All right, so that looks good. So we're done with that color. And then we're going to go to um, Mary Merlot. Well, actually, let's do the green next. So this is a mossy meadow. So let's put some green in here. And it's looking good. All right. I have my painter here, my favorite painter, Melissa. And she's doing my trim outside, and it's really, really hot. But it's been in the shade all morning. And I went out and I told her, I said, I'm getting ready to do a YouTube live, I mean, a Facebook live. And she's right outside the window. So I got ready to start filming, and she's out there banging on the wall. And I said, <laughs> I went out, and I'm like, I told you I'm going to be right inside that window doing a video. She goes, oh, I forgot. <laughs> like, I said, I just told you like five minutes ago. <laughs> So she's right outside. So I said, if you hear me, don't don't sit, think I'm crazy sitting there talking to myself because I'm actually talking to people that are watching. All right. Oh, I don't know why they got that the die sitting there. All right. So last color is the uh, Mary Merlot. And we're going to put a lot of that on here. So whatever color you like the best, just put that the most. And then when you punch it out with the leaf, it'll look really pretty. So we're just putting blobs all over, and that looks pretty good. All right, so then what you're going to do is put your die on here and run it through the die cutting machine. Oh, actually, no, you're not. Hold on. The whole reason I'm doing the video is so I can show you this technique. All right, so this is my um, packing tape gun. So I just grabbed it. First time I tried to do it across without pulling it off, and it made a mess. So hold on. It's loud. Okay, so you get a piece, and you're just going to lay it down on here. So this is a piece of the packing tape, and you're just going to lay it down right on top. And I didn't measure, but look at that. It almost is exactly the right size. Then you're going to get another piece. Hold on. Sometimes it's hard to rip it. All right, so I've got another piece. This is not long enough, but that's okay because it's long enough for me to show you. And if you get any bubbles, that's okay. They'll flatten out when you run it through your die cutting machine. So can you see the tape on there? So now it's nice and shiny. 
Then you put your, I just lost my leaf. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, so then you're going to put your leaf on top. So it's got my paper and then the tape is on top. You put your leaf on there like that, run it through your die cutting machine. And I did it back and forth, back and forth. So um, it's a little bit harder to get through than just paper because the tape is a little bit thicker. So I did it like back, forth, back, forth. Um, and pop that out. And you do that a couple times. And then you come out with these, which I think actually I did better. This piece I think is prettier than the first one I did. Well, they're almost the same. But you'll get these beautiful leaves. And if you don't want to use the packing tape, um, you don't have to. You could just do it without putting the tape on there, and then it would come out just plain. And um, you could put Wink Stella or something on there, too, to make it sparkly. But I've got these, and that's all you have to do. So it's pretty easy. And you can do that with anything. So if you want to do the butterfly, or I think the butterfly is going to be really, really pretty shiny like that. So um, I'm going to stamp my leaves inside my card. And that's the, really the only stamping that I'm doing because the words I've already done ahead of time from the um, mini messages. So we're just going to stamp these a couple times inside. And that's it for that part. Now we're going to put it together. So let me get everything out of the way and just get this sheet out. All right, so first thing we're going to do is put these two on together. So this goes here and then this goes here and just make sure they're all cut exactly the same. So sometimes when I'm cutting, I'll have something that's like a sliver off. So I always try to make sure that these pieces are exactly the same and they are. So I'm going to use some green glue. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I have so many classes coming up. I've got tomorrow morning, and then I've got Thursday morning, and I've got Thursday night, and then I've got Friday morning. And almost all of them are full. The only one that still has room is the tomorrow morning one. So if any of you guys are watching and want to come, I do still have a couple spots left tomorrow morning. If you want to come, it will be a lot of fun. We're doing Christmas cards. And uh, we're doing uh, three different cards, three of each, which is nine. And then I have a bonus card, so that's really going to make ten. And then everybody who comes is going to get a pack of the Tidings and Trimmings, I think is the name of it, or Tidings of Christmas, something like that. It's in the book, big book. So the cards are really pretty. I should have brought them in here and shown you, but I'll be doing videos of those soon. All right, so that's that part. And then these two go together. And the back looks just like regular paper, but the front looks like that cork. And it really is cool paper because it's so soft and it feels just like cork because it's got that cork texture to it. All right, then we're going to take some linen thread and wrap it around a couple times. So I'm just going to leave some extra here to tie a bow, wrap it around a couple times, and then um, leave some more over here and cut it. Probably that's way too much, but that's all right. All right, and I'm going to tie it in a knot because it's hard to tie a bow if you just have two hands. You really need like three. So let me just put that down real quick and tie a knot. And then tie a bow. And then we're going to scoot it over a little bit. I love linen thread. It's one of my favorite things to use on cards because it's just so thin and delicate and it just usually makes a really pretty bow. And you just pull it until you get it how you want it and then kind of spread this out a little bit. And I'm just going to slide this over a little bit. Maybe that's too much. I don't want it quite that far, but hold on. There we go. All right, so now we've got our bow, and now we want to situate the leaves behind it. So I'm going to put this down first and then do the leaves on there. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. Here we go. I've got a new pack of dimensionals, so now I don't have to use those teeny little slivers everywhere. 
Aren't y'all proud of me? <laughs> all right, so let's take all these off. Make a mess everywhere. You know I have dimensionals like everywhere in my house. Tidings of Christmas DSP, okay. And the stamp set's on page 88, 89. The funny thing is I only used that stamp set for one of the cards and then I used all the other stamp sets on there for my Christmas card class. All right, so this is turning on me. I want it to get stay straight. I'm gonna have to put a little glue dot under that. All right, so there we go with the ribbon. Then we're gonna situate these um, leaves under there. So I want this one that's a little bit lighter on the top. So I'm gonna put them kind of like that underneath there. So I'm gonna do this one first with the green glue. This is a good one to put some adhesive paper on the back so you don't have to worry about glue. I have just a little piece still in here. Hold on. Stuck. These come out really easily too when you put it through the um, die cutting machine. They popped out very easily. Except for this one <laughs> that's stuck. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. I posted this thing on Facebook this morning and I was so upset because I got, got it from the Nextdoor app. And evidently, if you're not on the next door app, you couldn't see the post. So a few people said they couldn't see it. And I was like, oh, man, it was just such a good post. And um, well, actually, I did, too. So I'll tell you, the first one was about these police officers or sheriffs in California. So California's having all these wildfires and this one town evacuated. And so this lady picked up on her ring doorbell. The sheriffs were driving by and... Um, let me tilt this this way. So that one's going to go to the left. I probably should have put it down a little bit more. Hold on. There we go. And they stopped at her house because I guess the wind had caught her flag and it was all wrapped up. So they stopped and got out of their car and um, fixed her. Amer it was an American flag. So... I thought, wow, that's really good because, you know, right now there's just so much going on that some people are just not uh, treating the flag with respect anymore. So anyway, I don't want to get political or anything, but I just thought that was very um, heartwarming that they were driving around checking people's houses, you know, because they had evacuated, making sure nobody was robbing them. And, and they actually stopped to f fix her flag. And I just thought that was really nice. And then the other post, oops, there's a couple left in here too. Um, was about paying it forward. So this lady, she said um, her son went out to the ice cream truck the other day to get ice cream and he came back and he said it was free and she went out there and found out that one of the neighbors had uh, bought out the whole entire ice cream truck for everybody in the neighborhood so that all the kids could get free ice cream. And I thought that was just so nice. I mean, because those ice cream, they're like 3 or $4, I think. Now, I haven't been out to the ice cream truck in forever, but I think they're expensive. So, I thought that was just really nice to do. And then, um, she also said, you know, she had been in, uh, like, a Starbucks line or some kind of drive through And same thing happened. So, like, all in the same week. And she said it's really nice to know that there is still kindness out there. And people are still doing things like that. And I said, you know what? Next time I go to the drive-thru, I'm going to do that myself. I'm going to pay for the person in back of me just to make their day. Because I'm telling you, it's just, there's so much going on. And people just really need that kind of a lift. So if you're out and about, please pay it forward to somebody. You know, it only might cost you five bucks or something. Or do the ice cream truck thing. I thought that was really, really cute. And those kids were so shocked that they got a free ice cream all right so there's my um leaves and then i just used my many messages um stamp set and dies and i have a whole bunch i have a big giant pack of them but i just had this little pack sitting on my table and i said well i'm just going to dump these out and find one that i like so on this one i used happy birthday and i sponged it so for this one i think i'm gonna do let's see how about this one? Just a card to say hello. So for this one, I'm going to sponge it again. Let me get my scrap paper back. Hold on. Let's get the scrap paper out and sponge this one. 
with some Mary Merlot. Whoops, that's a lot. <laughs> we have a lot of Mary Merlot. Maybe we should do, tone it down just a little bit with some Cajun Craze or something. Just a little. We don't want it that purpley. So let's get some Cajun. Yeah, that's better. All right, so not quite so purple. Let me put, blend it a little bit. All right, so now we've got those um, words done. Put all of our stuff away. And put this on here with dimensionals. And, well, I probably could cut that in half. <laughs> Everybody always jokes me for cutting these in half because they only cost like one cent. But sometimes you just don't want two big ones because that takes up too much space. Especially if you got a like, little thin thing like that. Alright, so let's put these words on here. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Alright, we'll put these away in a minute. And then I put some pearls on here. So I've got the metallic pearls, which are my new favorite thing. I don't know why I haven't used these for a long time and now I use them on everything. So I thought the gold looked really pretty with the cork and the leaves. So... Let's put some of those on here. Whoops. So let's put one up here and one here and one over here. And there you go. So what do you guys think of my beautiful card? I love it, love it, love it. I always love my own cards. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Hey, Diane, how are you? All right, so I hope you loved this card. Here's the first one. And there's the second one. And they are, it's really easy. And that packing tape is easy, especially when you get the whole sheet done. Because once you cover the whole sheet, then you can pop out, like I did, a whole ton of them. So I did a whole bunch of little ones too. And they just came out so pretty. And I loved how they looked. So this is one, this is one without the packing tape and this is one with the packing tape so you can see the shininess on there so I just think it really adds a lot and makes it look kind of sparkly and we could do some Wink Stella if you want I still have it sitting here as always so how about some Wink Stella on here oh I probably should get my scrap paper hold on I don't want to mess up my uh, nice little area. So let me get something to hit it on. We needed something heavier than that. Hold on. Let's see. Let me use this. Oh, love it. Oh my gosh. Now it's even more sparkly. I love it. Love it. Love it. You can never go wrong with Wink Stella. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. All right. So what do you think? Do you love it? Love it, love it. Very cool technique. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love that technique. Oh, thanks, you guys. I love it. I'm so glad you like it. Well, hopefully, um, I inspired you to go make a fall card today, too, since um, I'm hoping fall is going to be coming soon, and next month is fall. But right now, it feels like uh, really hot. <laughs> I'm ready for some cooler weather. All right, thanks you guys so much for joining me today. Also, don't forget, you can order anytime right here, stampingwithlisa.com. Would love to have you as a customer. And that is what keeps me doing all these videos for free, is by you ordering and also subscribing and commenting and everything on my YouTube channel. So as long as you guys keep doing that, I'll keep making videos. So have a great rest of your day, and I'll be back on Thursday for another video. And... Leave me a message and tell me what you would like to see. Do you want another fall card or are you ready for some Christmas? And I'll try and uh, do whatever I can for you guys. Whoever gets the most comments for that, I will do that. So let me know what you think about this cork paper too. It's really pretty. And I will, guys, I will see you guys later. And don't forget this is the packing tape technique, not masking tape technique. Oh, that's really hard to say. <laughs> Hey, Audrey, <laughs> you finally made a live. Yay. All right. I will see you guys later. I'm going to go grab some lunch 
and uh, get ready for my classes. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.